Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continue working on the Silverado and first things what needs to be done is prepare these two bumpers for the paint. Then there's the second thing, there's the third and fourth and so on. So there's a lots of parts that needs to be painted like two bumpers, both of the uh, mirrors, four door handles, and four fender flares. Am I missing something? I think that's it. I think uh, I covered everything. Am I missing something? But I'll find it and bring it here and prepare it. So all those parts needs to be prepared for paint and hopefully tomorrow or next day I can paint all those parts because it'll take quite some time to prepare this bumper. As you guys can see, it start rusting over here. So I'm gonna be spending some time on this. And this bumper, I believe it's power coated and chosen. This is gonna be <clears throat> something else. This is not gonna be here. Now, as you guys remember in the previous episode, I missed this spot, I painted. It's dry now, I'll take care of it. So, let's get it rolling. Check this out. Man, this bunker looks beautiful. Finished with a 400 grit, 150 and 400 grit. Took me eight hours to get here. This is something insane. This is something I'm doing first time. I don't know if I've done it right. The reason I'm doing this way is because I don't want to apply the primer to it then sand it and then paint it so i will spend some time i would spend some time anyway to send it with the 150 grade then apply a primer which is materials then send it again all those ages and everything and paint it so i spend that time just preparing like i would prepare for painting any other panel so hopefully finger crossed this is good enough and we cannot see any issues like scratches of a 150 but I think it looks pretty good man can you guys imagine if I would take uh, 1500 grit and send all that with the 1500 I think it would become uh, like a chrome I'm pretty interested to see what it would like what it would look if I would uh, kind of polish it you know and then clear coat it i think it's gonna look awesome but in order to do that i don't know if you can see there's a microscopic things i don't know i'm probably not gonna be able to see it so there's microscopic things from uh, sandblasting like those textures see and this bumper i'm gonna start preparing right now and i'm kind of scared how long it's gonna take me to get this bumper going I'm gonna save this like I said yeah I don't I don't remember if I said I <laughs> spent so much time on this bumper I'm gonna save this block and whole bumper gonna be white so since I'm done with this one let's move on on this one and repeat the process on the south part I have four 400 grit paper left
I'm done with the rear bumper. What we hear, I will leave it like that texture. I think it's gonna give it a little accent to it. The white texture inside and uh, black plate. But other than that, completely done. Ready to be painted. 150 followed by 400. And that's obvious. So I brought the grill here. Grill itself actually broken, so. Oh man. Is this thing broken also? Oh gosh, we'll see. I might just gonna have to wait on this one not to paint it. I want to see if it's just a uh, crack chrome or what is it. But anyway, I want to get these chromes out, prepare them for paint. Also, I have a mirrors over here. Mirrors needs to be disassembled and painted because I want to paint the sleeves also. So whenever you stand out, uh, extend the mirrors, you can, you don't see black stuff, you know, it's gonna be completely white. Uh, this is just a regular windows, uh, no chrome caps, which is awesome. And I'm gonna have to disassemble these uh, door handles, uh, get this black stuff off and prepare them, send them also. They're gonna be painted. So door handles, Mirrors, grill. What else? Am I missing something? It seems like I'm missing something. I might not. Hmm. Let's see. Front bumper and the front. Yeah, I think I got everything. Oh well, if I'm I'm missing something, then I'm gonna be painting one more time. But the most stuff, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of the stuff is painted, and some of the stuff that's inside, I'm gonna pop it out and paint it black but black i'm gonna be probably painting actually i have a small gun i can uh, load it with the black paint paint them and clear coat everything at once so there you go nice process uh, progress coming so a few more things left and uh, we we'll, should be ready to start painting Oh man, I'm finally done with all the parts preparation for painting. Mirrors disassembled and prepared. All the parts sent out and I put it here in the box. So I don't lose them. Now, as you can see, the bumper is gonna be sitting over here like it is and rear one also. And that's where I'm gonna be painting them. And those grill inserts. Sucks that they only have three uh, or oh, two the third one is broken, I will have to paint it, but I'm pretty sure there's a few things that I'm gonna have to paint it again. And you guys can see how much all this takes time in order to prepare, right? So it looks cool, right? So taking mirrors apart, you really don't have to take it apart, right? But in order to make a truck looks really nice, that's what you have to go through. Same thing with the preparation, rear bumper, front bumper, man, front bumper took me the most time off of me it's uh, the front bumper is insane anyway so that's how i'm gonna be painting now i'm gonna have to figure it out how i want to let out the parts over here so i can freely paint them so i can have a free access to the rest of the parts yeah there's you can i mean there's a lots a lots of little stuff that needs to be painted and i'm gonna have to figure it out how i want to spread everything out that way so i can paint it everywhere and at the same time, it's gonna be 
reachable. That's gonna be a goal. Let's just continue grinding and get ready for painting. Finally done with the painting. Oh man, it looks not a whole lot of stuff to paint, right? But realistically, there's so much to paint, even though a little. How much did I spend materials? Let's see. So roughly 24 ounces, one coat, 24 ounces, another coat. So that's a 48 ounces of sealer. 48 ounces, a little more, of, uh, so it's about 52 ounces of uh, base and also about 54 ounces of clear coat. Yes, there is a lot of stuff that needs to be painted, especially little stuff that takes a lot of overspray. Uh, for a little stuff, I probably should change the strategy and uh, buy myself nicer, smaller guns so I don't have to uh, wait so much material on this stuff. But hey, after I'll finish with this project, this thing is gonna look right. This thing is gonna look super awesome. And I can't wait until these parts get dried up and I can start installing them on the truck. Man, everything gonna look so cool. Oh man, I can't just wait. Mm, looks like I made a little run over here. I saw a few videos on Instagram how to take care of runs, but I'm kind of scared to try it on this. I'll try in something different, but the trick with the tape is amazing. But like I said, I'm done painting, so I'm not willing to take any risks. I'm done here, guys. Thank you for stopping by. If you like the video, smash that like button and leave your thoughts down below. Also, if you wanna see insights could be for YouTube, what's going on, make sure you follow me on Instagram and check my stories. Thank you for stopping by, I'll catch you next time.